بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله My dear student, good morning to you all Today inshallah we will continue learning our English language lessons My name is teacher Inas al -Hdithi. I hope by now that you have uh, received your books from your schools and I need you, it's very important to have piece of uh, sheets of papers or perhaps a notebook it will be better to have the notebook uh, uh, in English because you, we have the lines in order to write the letters and the numbers correctly. So this is the second uh, uh, second literacy and adult education, English language introduction. My name is teacher Ines Hadithi, so let's start. Bismillah. By the end of the lesson, you are expected to have all these objectives, inshallah. We'll again introduce our books, learn our way through the book. We will introduce letters, the English language letters, and also we'll be introducing numbers from number one to number 20. So let's start. This is your book. Again, for any reason, if you haven't received your books now, you can go ahead and scan all these two barcodes to uh, download it through your laptops or tablets. If that's not possible, you might go and uh, to any portable channels, sign in with your names, and then you will find all the books and curriculum there. Uh, do you speak English, my dear student? Or why is English language important? Why do we learn English? Why is it important? As I mentioned in the previous lesson, it's the language that you will always find someone who can speak to you this language no matter what, where you are. So, again, you will find, uh, if you need the frequency of the AIN channel, you will find them in these official accounts. Make sure you go to them. And there, you can download your ebook. I really, for myself, I really prefer the actual book. But if you, for any reason you couldn't, it's fine, you can have the ebooks uh, from uh, Haqibat AIN. You can find this. So, this is your book. This will be introducing the letters and the numbers. So, we will not start unit number one yet. We will be starting this next week, inshallah. But we will learn letters. Because, as I mentioned, this is the basic of English language. These are some of the instructions that we need to practice over and over. As you can see here, we have close your book, open your book, great, good, and goodbye. These are the words and the terms that we might use over and over. Here, as we said before, we have this boy. What is he doing? Open your book. So we'll be opening our books, my dear student. Open your book at page 10 or at page 29, for example. But let's say we are done with the book. We will be closing. So close your book, my dear student. Close your book. We're done. We don't need it now. Close your book. Today, we will be doing this action a lot. This is called trace. Trace is connecting the dots in order to write a word, a letter, a number, or perhaps a whole sentence. Also, we have write. We will be doing some writing. And we have read. I need you to read some words or to repeat some words with me. Again, you will be doing some speaking and saying. Speak and say the words and the letters. Or perhaps just listen to the teacher. Listen to me saying the letters or the numbers to you. Here we have the numbers, all the numbers, starting from number 1 till number 100. Numbers are very important. Let me start by reading the numbers, starting from number one, and we'll be doing something different here. So I need you to read with me at your houses. I know you can read at least the first two lines. So let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, very good, let's go to the next line. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19, 20. Very good. Now we will go verticals. So we will start verticals now. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Very good, very good. 100. We will be taking these also throughout this semester. Let's start with letters. Letters are very important. And by now, I hope you have your notebooks and some pencils or sheets, pens, in order to write with me. This is very important. These are the English language uh, letters or the alphabets. Okay, so let's read them. As you can see, I have the letter in capital, small, they are associated with a picture and with a word. So let's read. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Very good, very good. So these are called the English alphabets. As you can see, I have the words that also start with these alphabets. For example, as you can see the first letter, oh sorry, the first picture here, I have a picture of an apple. Okay, so it starts with the letter A. Apple, A. Next one I have, bag. It starts with B, letter B. The sound is ba, bag. Very good, and so on. Again, we have these, and we call this the fundamental or the basic of English language, the letters or the alphabets. We just read them, but we will try to make up words with them now. So, here. As we did in the first, uh, in the previous lesson, we will be making some words using these letters. I know you can do more now, but let me remind you of the one that we took. We started with C, A, and R, right? And we have the word car. Okay, now I need you to come up with more words now. I need you to create more words now. Can you think of more words now? For example, I have S. And I have T. And I have A. So what do you think? A word that has S, T, A, and R. Very good. The word is star. The word is star. So. I now, I use four letters to make this word. The word is star, star. I know you can make countless number of words, words that you already know. So, let's start. As you can see, my dear student here, I have two instructions. Read and trace. Read and trace, right? So now, what I need you to do is have your pencils ready with me because we will be doing some tracing and some writing here. So let's start. Here I have the word apple. Apple starts with the letter A, A, A. So let's start tracing. And make sure you are writing between the lines. Don't write down, don't write up, write between the specific lines. Okay, let's go to the next one. I have B. Capital B and small b. Capital B and small b. Next one, I'll have letter C. C. Don't worry if you cannot catch up with me now. We will be taking these letters throughout the semester one at a time. And be, we'll be doing a lot of handwriting and re repeating and saying. So let's go to the next one. So here I have A, B, and C. Next, I have the letter D. D, door, door. So I have capital D, 
I have small d. Again, make sure that you are writing between the line. D, door. Next one I have is e. E. And I have the, the word here, egg. Egg, e. Next one here I have is fish. Fish. I have capital F, small f, f, th, fish. Very good, very good. So now I have three more letters. Let's go to the next four, the next uh, set. I have the letter G, green, G. So let's have capital G and small g, green, go, geography. Okay, next one I have the letter H, letter H. I have capital H, small h, very good. The word here I have is hat, ha, hat, very good. Next one I have is the letter I, I, capital I, small i, the word is ink ink very good now let's go to the next set of words i have if you can name i know you, some of you can name the first one the first one is ja, juice juice capital j small j it's not g it's j ja, j juice very good juice next letter i have is letter k Capital K, small k, very good. The word here is key, the word is key. It's a tool that we use to open doors, key. Next one I have is, what do you think? What is this? Perhaps just by looking at the picture, it's a lamp, very good. So I have a capital L and they have a small l. Capital L and small l, very good. So here I have J, K, and L. Let's go to the next set of letters. Now, I have the letter M, M. So let's start capital M. Make sure you are writing between the lines. M, M, mother. Next letter I have is letter N, N. Nine, nest, near. Okay, so I have M, I have N. Next, I have the letter O. O, orange. Capital O and small O. Orange, very good, very good. So here I have M, N, and O. So let's go to the next set. Here I have four letters. I have a letter P, 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 it's not B as in bag, it's P as in pencil, pen. This is capital P and this is small P, very good. Next one I have is letter Q, Q, capital Q, Small Q, very good. The, let, the word is quilt, very good. The last letter I have here is R. R, I have capital R. And I have a small R. R, ra, rabbit. R, ra, and rabbit. Very good, very good. Let's go to the next set of letters. Next one I have is letter S, S. Square, sun. Okay, so I have the letter S, capital and small. Next, I have letter T, T, capital T, small T, very good, T, T. Next one I have is letter U, capital U, small U, the, the word is umbrella. The word is umbrella. Last letter I have here is letter V. V. The word is vase. Van. It's different than F. Fish. 
This is V. Then. Let's go to the last set of letters. I have W. So the letter is W. The sound is W. The word is window. W. Window. Next one I have is X. Capital X. Small x. So if you can notice now we are tracing, right? X-ray. Next letter I have is U. Capital and small. And the word here is called U U or perhaps yellow. The last letter we have in the English alphabet is letter Z. Capital Z, small z, and the word here I have is zoo. It's called zoo. So we try to go through all the English alphabet starting from A till the letter C. Now, as you can see, whenever we see the sign, it's time to have the work that, to close your books. I have some notebooks and some pencils because we are doing some handwriting. We'll be copying. We'll be writing as many as you can. Now, we will be doing what, my dear student? We will trace. We will trace. I will introduce this. This is very important, especially for the first year, in order to be able to connect or to write between the lines. Let me explain why. For example, starting, let me use a different color. Let me start by connecting. I highly encourage you to print some of the papers and do and connect the dots. Why is that? You will be able to write the words, the letters, the numbers correctly between the lines. So let's start connecting the first one. Here I have a line. I will start to connect these dots together. Okay? Try not to go above the dots or below the dots. Okay? So the first one is a line. Let's go to the next one and let's try to trace now. As you can see, we used this tracing earlier to write letter M, right? And W. Make sure you are tracing correctly. Okay, this is very important. Now let's go to the next one. If you could remember letter V, we used to trace it like this. It has the same shape as V, right? Capital and small. So try to trace carefully not go above or below so this is a v or this is now we have something that looks like a wave right if you could connect it with some of the letters what will what letter will it be very good small m small n small w very good so This way will enable you to write the letters correctly between the lines. And the last one here I have. I know you'll be doing much better because you have your pencils or your pens. I only have my hands here. Okay, so this way, by tracing, you will be able to do a lot of good job writing the words. You might have different sheets, just like this one, trying line elements, okay? Perhaps you can find a square, a stores, just a simple line, and so on. Okay. Now, let's try to trace the actual letters. Here I have the words, oh, sorry, the letters, capital letters, okay? Let's try to trace as many as we can. So, let's try by tracing A. Capital A. Very good. Now let's go to B. Capital B, C, and D. So, it doesn't matter how many times you are writing them. This is very important because as much as you practice, you'll make your handwriting look so much good. Okay, then I have E, F, Remember, we are going to take these letters throughout this semester. 
I have H, I, J, K, and we have capital L. We have capital L. What I need you to do is practice more. Try to uh, download some of these pages online from the internet and trace. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Here I have the letters. Let me choose a different color, but they are in small or it called lower cases. I have small a, small b, small c, small d, e, f, g. So it will be very useful to, to write more, try to practice more. Write as many as you can, okay? And make sure you are writing between the lines. Your lines might look like this. Try to make sure that you are writing, for example, G and small g, just like that. Don't go above or below. Now, let's have some fun exercises. For example, circle the lowercase letter or the small letter. Here I have the uh, the English alphabet, the capital letter A, and below I have three options. Let's try to circle the correct answer. I have three letters. Which one is the uh, small letter? Which one is the small letter? Very good. It's this one. This is a small A. Let's go to the next one. This is a small B. Very good. The next one I have is C. Where's the small C? Very good, this is the small c, and the last one here I have is d. This is the small d, very good, very good. So these are some of the exercises we will take throughout this class. Also, we might have something that looks like this. As you can see here, I have the capital letters. To your right, I have all the options we have. We need just to connect the capital with the small. So I have capital A, where is the, ca uh, where is the small a? Where is it? Yes, that's the small a, very good. Next one I have is b. This is a small b, very good. Next one I have is c. This is a small c and so on, very good, very good. Let's go to the next one. Okay, we try to cover the letters. Now let's try to cover numbers. As you can see here, we have four numbers. Let's try to, I, I know you can do this very easy. Have number one, number two, number three, and number four. Okay, but that's not all. We have more numbers. And as I mentioned in the previous lesson, we can count the numbers using our hands, but it's okay for now. But since we are trying to improve, it's, go, it's going to be easier for you. Now, let's try to read these numbers. As you can see, I have from number one till number 20. So I need you now to listen and repeat the numbers with me. Start, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, very good, very good. Now let's go to the next line. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Very good, very good. Also, I promise that we will be able to do some math. So we'll be matching English and math together you will be able to do some simple math here. Like for example, you will be able to do this one. Four plus six will give us 10. Nine plus 11 will give us 20. 20 minus five will give us the answer 15 and so on. So we will have similar exercises throughout the semester. Also, we'll be asked to trace this complete. We will have this for next lesson. Remember if I, um, when we took how to greet other people by saying the word perhaps hello, 
it's just not just hello you might do something by introducing your name hello my name is Fatima hello my name is Huda and so on so for me I'll be introducing myself by saying hello my name is Inas or I am Inas what about you my dear student tell us your name so let's try to remember what we've learned in this lesson my dear student we introduce our books we try to learn our, our way throughout the book. The, the unit, we start with the basics, letters and numbers, letters and numbers. For the next uh, lesson, inshallah, we will start, hello. I highly encourage you to have your books by then. We'll be using them. So that was our introduction. Until I see you next time, stay safe. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.